Worth $6 billion annually in tourism and fishing, Australia's iconic Great Barrier Reef is home to the world's largest coral reef system, stretching over 2,000 kilometres. The 400 coral species here provide a colourful and necessary support system for a diversity of other marine life. But now, tiny cells from this coral have been given a new home at this laboratory 400 kilometres inland from the coast in vats of liquid nitrogen. They identified two foundation species to, to collect and store um, and this will enable us to do a little bit more research as well as potentially having to maybe repopulate an area if, if need be. Growth rates of the coral at the World Heritage listed site are already slowing due to the impacts of climate change on water temperature and localised pollution. These are problems facing reefs around the world and now experts from the Australian Institute of Marine Science and the country's top wildlife reproductive lab at the Taronga Western Plains Zoo are working with global partners to build in vitro reefs that can be used to regenerate wild coral populations. Coral, which is technically an animal, has a three-day spawning event each year where sperm and embryonic cells are released. At the Great Barrier Reef, scientists filmed the process of collecting the reproductive cells and preparing them for immersion in liquid nitrogen. What we'll do now is we'll add um, the cryoprotectant to it and in some we'll add um, a protein or a BSA and others we will um, and then we'll begin to slowly freeze them. So far two types of coral cells have been frozen or cryopreserved at minus 196 degrees Celsius and researchers are positive that they'll be able to build in vitro reefs in the near future. The aim is to be able to reseed damaged parts of the Great Barrier Reef, protecting its genetic diversity. We're not quite there yet, but it's absolutely essential that we bank these genes down while we have them, because in a few years' time we may not be able to do it. There, there just will never be as much genetic diversity on the reef as there is right now. If successful, work on other endangered coral types will also be carried out, hopefully ensuring the survival of this important and iconic marine ecosystem.